Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Meeting the Driver. My name is G from Heritage Group. Today we are here with a special guest, Kayla and her beautiful 67 Alpha uh, Julia Sprint GT. Um, before we get into that video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and we'll see you soon. Hey, I'm Kayla. Um, I'm here uh, introducing my 67 Alfa Romeo GT. So I was born and raised in Houston, Texas. Um, grew up there. And so a lot of the cars there were muscle cars or kind of Camaros and things. And I was always interested in them, but obviously never had anything like that. And then um, coming from that, I went overseas and I lived, worked with a lot of people from like the UK and Australia and all over the world. And they were kind of introduced me to Porsches, um, 356s, kind of the more outside the norm kind of cars that I was used to. And then finally I saw this car or a similar car on um, Octane, which is a magazine I think from the UK and they did a spread and it was just amazing and like I've always liked Ferraris obviously and they were kind of unattainable to me where the Alpha was like a Ferrari that was attainable and like I, I don't know it was just kind of like it, I think the spreadsheet said like giant killer and I thought that was like a really cool statement of that it's small and kind of like pristine but it's pretty mean too with it's like fiery four cylinder so that's what kind of got me like that's where I kind of started from and that's what got me interested in in this car specifically Okay, this is a crazy story. So, I was basically working around the world. So I was in Indonesia for five years. I was in Ghana for a year. And I was just working like crazy hours in the oil and gas business. And I just like didn't really like it. And I was tired of working overseas. So I basically quit my job. I sold my house in Houston. And I moved to California. And I had this car like being built at that same time. So I basically sold everything. Came to California just kind of just get a fresh start and do something new and then I knew like kind of like the car culture just a little different like philosophy cult like um, laid-back atmosphere like drew me to California and of course like all that stuff has been very true and like that's what kind of brought me here and then now like ever since like COVID is now finally thank gosh over that um, kind of getting out and like meeting more people and kind of developing like the fun car enthusiast relationships which I haven't had so much because for me it was more just the love of the car and driving where now I'm starting to experience like meeting more people, going for drives with other people, and like there's just like a lot more to it that I didn't like experience before, and it's been like a, that's like the one of the better parts of Los Angeles I think is just like pretty much everyone has like a story, or a car or something that, that you can relate to, and it's just like a fun atmosphere to always kind of have a weird bond with just just about anybody. Because I think for me I was always nervous just because like a lot of people know a lot more about my car, or other cars, and like. I don't know maybe technically as much as other people like for me the joy is like driving it and just like going for fast turns doing the canyons and things like that but i find like that made me nervous before but now it's more like like you said people are more just interested in like telling you their story or hearing about your story or things like that so it's like different than the technical because like i said earlier like i find most times like i got nervous and most people they just want to see your car and talk to you and everyone kind of like I don't know. I think it's one of those things that you kind of build up in your head more than it really is. And like, it's more just fun and people are excited to see your car. And like, that's like the one time I went to race service before, like there was a Ferrari Enzo or a uh, love Ferrari or something like brand new, beautiful Ferrari that like, for me, it was like amazing. And then there was my car and some guys like, I like your car the best here. And I was just like, that like blew me away. But that kind of tells you like everyone has their own kind of taste and like style. And it's like fun to kind of like hear other people's perceptions, what they think. And like, it's a lot of times very different than like what I thought or kind of like had in my head, which is interesting. Right. So it like encourages me to go out and do more. Yeah, I even find like different women on Instagram. Like there's one woman I follow. I think she's in like Australia and she races like alphas and she does like YouTube stuff. Like it's just fun. Like you see that and it's kind of like inspiring as well. It's like, okay. There's other people. So before I had this one, I got a 72. So it wasn't the step nose. And I had that one I kind of tinkered with a little bit, but like for me, I always longed for the step nose. And so I went to my mechanic and like he kind of knew some alphas. It's not nearly like it is in LA and Houston, but I went with him and he basically found this one online. And I bought it from a person up actually in Northern California and ended up shipping it back to Houston, which is kind of crazy, getting it worked on there. And basically did like suspension, engine, um, just kind of getting it back to mechanically the way I want, like moving all the bumpers. And yes, the good part was I was overseas, so I like it was definitely like I wanted to be there and drive it, but I was kind of like away from it somewhat, which kind of made it a little bit easier because like I think having it like in the same city makes it much, much harder. But that's like the hardest part to me is just like the anticipation. And sometimes maybe like the reward is like you're just anticipating it for so long that like finally when you get out, it's just 
for me, I think like the first couple of weeks, I, when I first got it, I actually got it out here, which is kind of crazy. I never really drove it in Houston and just shipped it back out here. And that's what I basically did. I just drove Mount Holland and I think out to Santa Barbara just like constantly for like weekends as soon as I got it. Just because like, again, it's something like, I think when you anticipate for something for so long and then like it finally comes, it's just like the best reward. I think driving for me, like the most enjoyable part is just like the turns and the, and the cornering. Cause like in the straight line speed, the four cylinder, it's not super fast, but it's got enough power to get up and go. But like to me, the cornering as it just like with the alcoholic suspension, it just hugs the road and it stays so flat and it just makes the corners just so much fun. To me, it's like mixing art and cars and it's not like some of the art cars I find are kind of like silly and I'm not like, those aren't what I would consider art cars. Like to me, they're, they're, those are awesome cars that have like awesome art on them and it just like creates like an awesome mix of like the best of both worlds. I think that's what like generally with the Alpha is the passion, the feeling that you get from it. It's not so much the like everything else, yeah. Yes, I would definitely, I, I guess not specifically a track. Laguna Seca would be amazing just because I know about the corkscrew, but I definitely just want to take it on the track and just see like test my skills and the car skills on the track. And then definitely I think going up to either Northern California or going on like a little road trip with the Alpha would be great just to go get on the road again and just kind of, cause I don't know, I guess it just makes the road trip more ex exciting. And I think like driving the Alpha makes it more exciting. So yeah. definitely looking forward to like getting out now that things are opening up and getting warmer again. It's, it's like the perfect time to get out, I think. I saw my mechanic r racing in the hills before. That's not like a super interesting story. Oh, in your car? No, no, that would be actually really <laughs> funny. No, I was driving my car taking pictures and I saw another Alpha and I just like kind of waved just saying hello, but it like ended up being my mechanic. And he's just like ripping through the canyons and stuff like that. And then like he was basically telling me more stories of like, you should go here, check this place out, which like tells me I have to, that's the right mechanic. Because like you want someone to me like being like, I, I guess I want a mechanic that's like ripping cars and going after it, not someone that's like sitting on home on Sunday mornings or something, I guess. It just makes me like, yes, that's the right guy.